Howard Marsh is a lot of things. A liar, a thief, a poor man's wizard. He's a shoddily tattooed skin stretched over a too skinny body that's barely held together by the same drugs that are tearing his life apart. A cynic. His words are often as poison as the substances he takes to pass his days. A suicide attempt, years in the making. He's the scion of a family with a history as rich as it is materially poor. He's the product of a miserable county with more dirt roads and paved, where poverty and loss is the order of the day. He's a man haunted by his past, and has yet to find any reason to try and piece himself back together. You would be well advised to take what he says with a large grain of salt. He will cover the worst parts, glossing over the bits that show his darkest sides, the bits where the drugs that ravage him are in control. Where we find him is at the bottom, eking out a living as a water witch, a copper thief, a finder of lost things, living in a storage shed, and trying to maintain what's left of his frayed relationships with the few family members who will still talk to him. But, dear readers, he's a better man than he thinks. He doesn't see it, he's long forgotten the possibility even, and no one left in his life sees it either, but if you can endure the miserable existence of watching someone make nothing but bad choices for a time, then you will perhaps be rewarded. Maybe you'll see him slowly scrabble out of the muddy, trash-filled ditch that is his life. It won't be quick, and it won't be painless. The stories to come are often filled with sadness. The fairy tale ending is not for stories such as these. There's a chance at happiness, but it is a long way away, and there are many obstacles both in him and in his path. This is not a plea for understanding or forgiveness or any sort of justification. It is just the way of things. He is Howard Marsh, the Methgician. And he doesn't give a damn what you think.